Oh, I missed the 12.30. There isn't another train for three hours. Of course, you're off to the coast, aren't you? Mm. Trust that old square to ruin somebody else's weekend. Oh, he's not so bad, I don't suppose he wants to work late either. Don't you be so sure. He'd never go home if he didn't have to have his acid topped up. But at least he isn't afraid of work, not like some people I could mention. Hello. Uh, Are you falling for his fatal fascination? Uh, oh, no. Yes, sir. If you go to my car, Masgrove, you'll find a box of cigarettes in the glove compartment. Would you mind fetching them for me, please? Certainly, sir. Thank you very much. What's he doing with the manager's gun? Looks like he's getting something. What the hell is going on in there? Oh, thank you, Masgrove. Just put them there, will you? Give me a gun, will you? Pardon? Oh, Spencer, yeah? Oh, good morning. Yes? Hold on a moment. This is Spencer for you. Oh, yes. Hello. I'm afraid I'm going to be working a little late, so I'll go straight around to the club and get a spot of lunch there. Uh, don't worry, I shall be finished in plenty of time. Well, why don't I pick you up at the bank around 1.30? And yeah, we'll all have lunch together. I'll drive you back and you can pick up your car after the game. <laughs> no, 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 it's on my way. Right. Well, just ring the bell. 1.30, then. Miss Taylor? Where's that plastic girl? Are you sure she went in this horse? I'm sure. And at the close of business today, your account was indebted to the amount of £48.13 and ninepence. And Ralph, I should grateful if you will take immediate steps to rectify this position. So sincerely. I think that's a lot, isn't it? Yes, Mr. Spencer. Good. Well, then, while you're finishing those off, I'll just check through the Johnson can. Well, we'll have to go ahead. What? Oh, there are two of them in there. Look, in ten minutes, time the bank manager leaves with the keys, and if he does, we've added. Here we go. Before you open the door, Mr. Taylor. It's the
lot of new stuff. Oh, why not come on?
Let's try it. Try it, see? <laughs> Not open. Okay. Can you let your hand forward?
nobody in there and his car seems to have gone. All right, let's have gone ahead. Looks like it was the time. Yeah, 25 to 2. Well, that's it. You know, it is like the punctuality must have gone on. Uh, let's meet him there. I'm sure he'll be here soon. Either my friends or the cleaners must have informed the police by now. How will we know? Well, bang on the door or something, I suppose. The cleaners didn't. Give them time, you say that. Give them time. And besides, there's your family. They'll be wondering where you are. Oh, no, I'm afraid not. Why not? I was going away for the weekend, straight from the office. Were you travelling with friends? No, I was going alone. Oh, dear. I planned to catch the 12.30. You should tell me. I'd have let you off earlier. Thank you. When we get this little lot tucked away. How much do you reckon there is? 30,000 quid. Of course, there could have been a lot more if we'd have taken the new stuff. We get lumbered the first time we try to pass it. Yeah, well, there's plenty more where this came from. <laughs> well, it's as easy to knock off 30,000 as it is a, well, a couple of bob. Yeah, yeah. We nearly got caught. Yeah, well, of course, you and Alex slipped up badly over those two trial women. We'll have to be more careful next time. Next time? Ain't gonna be no next time. That's what we agreed. One job and then we quit. Yeah, but we didn't know how easy this job was. Easy? We had that bank watch for weeks. Everything was detailed and planned and then look what happened. Charlie just came at a different time. Yeah, well, you can just thank your lucky stars I used my loaf and locked those two up in the safe. Supposing no one does come? Someone will come. Supposing they don't? How long will the air last in here? Oh, no, really, Miss Taylor. How long, Mr. Spencer? I don't know. I don't know how much air one uses. I do. 7.6 litres of air per person per minute. How on earth do you know that? Um, last holidays, I joined an underwater club. I took diving lessons. It was in Corsica. We had lectures on air consumption. <laughs> Yes, but litres. How do you convert litres into cubic feet? I remember that too. Do? Good gracious. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't got a foot rule on me. We could make one. With what? Um. Full stack. Would that be accurate enough? It's regulation size, 13 by 8. That's so. Well then. Make our own tape measure. That's right. Look, if I divide it like that, there's two inches. Yes. Got anything to go on? No. Well, what can they go on? The van? We're breaking it up tonight. What's our business? Breaking up cars. What about the uniform? Supposing they start checking on place with uniform. Yeah, well, then. Yeah. Could go around all the surplus stores, all the costume shops. How do they know that my old man could rest his soul as a postman? And there's no one to knock on us. And that's another advantage we got. Not known in the underworld. Just you, me, and Alec. Go to the crime unit. Well. Not a crime at all, really. The bank's been robbing the poor for years. Better be Robin Hood's. <laughs> Twelve eight. Uh. Yes, that's a lot. Who the total? Just me. No, but tell me about your holiday in Corsica, Monsieur. Sounds wonderful. Boss. You never asked me about it. What you really mean is that I never encouraged that. Sort of conversation. Well, you don't, do you? No, I suppose I don't. It's only enough if I make that 720 minutes. That's been 12 hours. Well, something must realize by then. Oh, before then. Well, a safe is made to prevent people breaking in from the outside, not the other way around. If I can get at these screws, I might be able to take that back gate off. You mean you're going to try and get at the lock from the inside? Yes, that's the idea. Now, look, you, you sit down quietly. We don't both want to exert ourselves and use up extra air. You just sit down and rest yourself. Thank you very much. And you'll try and snap off the top of these scissors and use them as a screwdriver. Yeah, let's just see this. Well, that's not his car. No. Well, what should we do? Getting late? Yeah, well, might as well kick off, I suppose. Something must have delayed him and held him up. Unlikely not to let us know. 
Do you think it's worthwhile ringing the bank again? Guy wasn't there, I know you're doing that. Well, what should we do, make a three, some of it? Yeah, might as well. Well, you're all rogue. You still got a six to thirteen? Sure am. I'll seem to improve. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you kick off then. <laughs> Old Spencer better had a damn good excuse for not turning up. Well, why don't you stop for a while and rest? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. She did not struggle going down those stairs, Griff. I wouldn't mind being locked up with her for a couple of hours myself. Yeah, a lot of good that would do you, mate. What, with your hands and feet tied? Oh, it wouldn't take them long to get out of those. Let's face it, we didn't have much time to do a good job on them. You know what I reckon? I reckon we've done them a favour. Well, how's that? Well, now, look, where do people like that get anything to talk about? They're going to be talking about this for about five years. <laughs> look, let's start spitting the money. No, out. wait. Wait until Alex comes. Let's look at it for a bit. Capitalists, that's what we are, mate. Capitalists. Do you know how long it would take us to save this type of money? You know, I mean, what we earn? Yeah, too long. You got a fag? In my jacket. We split this three ways, that'll give us about 10,000 quid each. Then we do as we planned. We stash it away for, you know, maybe two, three years until it all quietens down. And then, buy a showroom. An agent, maybe two agencies even, you know something? With capital behind us, that puts us in a very different position, you know? Yeah, well, um, I've just been thinking. I've had a better idea. Mm. I instead of splitting it three ways, why don't we split it two ways? What are you talking about? Well, me and Alec, and, and you get yours like this. Ow, oh, that hurts. <laughs> That's very funny. You know, you ought to be on television. Yeah, well, I've thought that, actually. I mean, I've got a face for it, really. Mm. I mean, watch this. Da, 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 da. Bang, bang. Da, 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 da. Bang, bang. Yeah, yeah, very funny. <laughs> Isn't it marvellous? I mean, what kids from buy today? Can you wonder there's so much juvenile crime about? What's that? Hmm? Oh, that's Alec. Look, just then walk in and see it, don't you? Good afternoon, sir. Is this Mr. Alec Warren's flat? Yes. Can we come in? He's not here at the moment. Anything wrong? Are you related to him, sir? No. No, but his brother's here. I wonder if we might see him. Yeah. Let me wait a second. Who is he? It's the police. The must be too bad. Alec. I don't know what he's got to do with this. Police are together. It's all right. Good afternoon, sir. Gentleman says you're a relative of Mr. Alec Warren. Uh, yes, that's right. He's, uh, he's my brother. Uh, I'm Len Warren. We're in business together, uh, Alec and me. Um, oh, uh, this is Mr. Griffiths. He's a um, business partner of ours. You probably know our yard, Griffiths and Warren's. It's, it's down the road, round the corner. You know, by the Zebra Crossing. I'm afraid I have some bad news. Your brother, Mr. Warren, has been involved in a car accident. Well, is he... is he badly hurt? I'm afraid he's dead. Alex did? Well, it well, must be some mistake. Are you, are you sure it's Alec? I'm afraid so. Letters, the driving license. Where? Near Stanford, on a bend, that stretch coming from Terham. We'll see. Instantaneous. I'm sorry to have to ask these questions, but I'm sure you'll understand. Are there any other relatives? <coughs> no, um... Uh, it's only Lynn. There's a question of formal identification. Your brother's at Stanford Mortuary. We arrange transfer for you, of course. Yeah, um... I'll see the word. Sorry we had to bring this news. I 
Mm -hmm. I just fooled up to the stars with this damn useless thing. All I've done is to use up some precious air. Why didn't you lose me a common? Yeah. Have I made another joke? No. But you always manage to look so neat and cool, even in the middle of a heat wave. Now. Now I look almost human. No, I wasn't going to say that. No, that's what you meant, huh? If you think so, Mr. Spencer. I do see your point, Miss Dave. You know what this means? The sergeant said he was coming from Tedham. To Stanford. He was travelling north. He couldn't have found the place before he... We're the only ones who know they're in there now. So? We're the only ones who know they're there. Let them stay there. They'll die. They're suffocating no time in there. That's... That's too bad. If it hadn't been for those two, none of this would have happened. I could still be alive now. It's not their fault. It's too bad for them. It'll be too bad for us if they die, Len. Then we've murdered them. We've got to get them out. No, there's no way about it, Griff. I'm not lending a finger to help them. We've got to go and get them. You gone soft or something? We've got to get those keys. You, you're the only one who can do it. Me? Me? Why me all the time? If you're so keen to save them, you get a flaming case. You're his brother, aren't you? He's the only relative. You're entitled to them. Look, you've got to go to the mortgage sometime, haven't you? Well, look, I can't go along and ask for them. So why should I risk my neck? Risk? Can't you see that's just what you are risking? Because if we don't get them out, it'll be murder. Well, I'm getting up there. They won't be found until two days. It'll be two days to get away. You pull yourself together now. Can't you see? If you scarp, they're going to wonder why. They'll find those keys, and on Tuesday, they're going to find the bank, and it'll only take them two seconds to put two and two together. We've got to get those keys back before they find out who they belong to. No, it's all your fault. The whole thing was your idea in the first place. Well, whose idea was it to throw them in the safe? Yeah, well, you agreed pretty quick. That's why I'm going to do something about it. Well, you're on your own, then. Now, look, I'm not going to tell you again. Your brother's dead, right? I'm not going to let two others die with him. Then, so help me. To get those two out, I'll blow the old gap on the robbery. Is your headache? No, not really. Just a bit muzzy. Surely we should have heard something by now. I'm afraid we must face the fact that the cleaners went away without realizing anything. They're still your friends. And the possibility that the thieves may be caught. Your friends, it's over two hours. Well, when they find I'm out at the club, they're bound to start making inquiries. But all this would take time. An hour or two, perhaps. Perhaps. That's all it is, isn't it, Mr. Spencer? Perhaps. Perhaps they won't make inquiries. Perhaps nobody's doing anything about anything. Meanwhile, we just sit here and wait. The air in here will last until midnight, probably even longer. And by that time... By that time, it won't matter. Okay, look, Miss Taylor. I, I've been trying to analyze the construction of this room. Trying to find a weakness. Weakness? In a strong room? Well, come over here and have a look. Oh, sir. Now, this is the basement. Here's the strong room. Here. Are the washrooms. Exactly. Now, the wash basins are there. Mm -hmm. Now, those basins will have a common waste pipe, which must run through there into the sewer under the manhole in the street. Do you see? Mm -hmm. Right under this floor. Now, if I can get through this concrete and get that pipe, we'll get some air. I think it would be very pleasant air. But air. Can we break through the concrete? Well, if we can find something heavy enough to give us a start. A good bash at this, for instance. Now, what? Can you use this? No, 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 it's far too light. What about that jet perforator thing we keep down here? Where's that? Oh, you mean this one? Oh. That's it. There we are. Oh, careful, the pin's coming. Oh, that's all right. Now, the pin comes if it was like that. Yes, sir, we'll be just right. See? Let's get the tape out of the way. Then, don't forget the keys. Uh, uh. 
My brother. The, the stuff he had on him. Yeah, for sure, Mia. Yeah. Everything listed in main order. Well, I'd, I'd like to have them. Of course, as soon as I get the OK from the police. What's that? As soon as I get the OK from the police. Why? Why do you need that? Well, it's the regulations. Oh, yeah, well, this is his only relative. This is, his, this is his brother. Ah, yeah. So you say. Oh, of course, personally, I believe you, but I've got my instructions. I can't dispose of any of these things until I get authority from the coroner's court. Yeah, but look, I'm his brother. I'm entitled to this. Ah, that's as maybe. What, what do you mean by that? Well, did the departed leave a will? Oh, will I? I don't know. Why should it? Oh, well, there you are, you see. Now, supposing he'd left everything to somebody else in a will, they'd come along and ask me for all this stuff. And then where would I be if I'd given it all to you? Oh, damn. No, that's ridiculous. Look, I want this stuff. I've got to have it. Hey? Now, now, my brother and I are in business together. Now, I, I, I need these things. Now, look, I, I don't want all of them. No. I, I just want the keys. We can't get into the yard for work on Tuesday morning if I don't have these. Now, I'll take these, and you take this. Oh, bribery, eh? I'm a civil servant, I'd have you know. You can't get round me like that. If it wasn't for your distressing circumstances, I'd report you for that. No, I'm sorry. I'm unable to dispose of any of the deceased effects until I get the proper authority. Now, look, don't give me trouble. Now, you've got a choice. You either give me these keys or I take them. Do now, I? what's it going to be? Uh, no, you don't. No, 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 it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Well, um, it's all right. Can you go and me like that? No, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm very sorry about that. But you, you know it's his brother. Yes, oh, no, no, very bad. Not well. Like, look, uh, uh, he didn't mean no harm, like... You buy yourself a drink, all right? Oh. I'm, I'm very sorry about all that. Yeah. Operator, give me the police. You made a fine mess of that one, didn't you? Well, if you're so smart, why didn't you do the talking? Anyway, that's me finished. I'm through. I'm not letting them die. Look, I don't care what you're doing. I'm taking my share and getting out. Now, listen, I've just had all the whining I can take from you. I'm getting them out, and you're gonna help me. Look, we can't get them out, Griff. We can't get the keys. We've still got the cutting gear. You mean, you mean burn that door down? No. Look, all we gotta do is burn a little hole in. Let me put a tube of oxygen through. Well, I'm not going back there and taking a chance like that. You wanna take a chance we might get chopped? We can't do it, Len. We gotta do it. It was about those two chaps that come here this afternoon. Which two chaps? Well, one of them was the brother of a man who was killed in a car accident this afternoon. His name was Alec Warren. The dead one, I mean, not the brother. Mm -hmm. well, who was the other chap? Oh, I don't know. He was just a friend. I didn't get his name. Well, go on. What happened? Well, the brother identified the deceased. Then he came in here with his friend and asked for the deceased's effects. Well, of course, I told him he couldn't have them. Why not? Well, it's against the regulations. You ought to know that. Well, when I told him that, he, he went mad. He started shouting and screaming and said he'd got to have his brother's things. And when I refused to go against the regulations, he tried to bribe me. Then he threatened me. He said that if I didn't hand the things over, he'd kill me. 
Did he? Uh, no. <laughs> look, I'm uh, getting all... Well, where is the stuff? Let's have a look at it, shall we? Oh, yes, all right. I get people carrying on alarming after they've seen their relations in there. Nothing like this chap. Here right, we are, no, then. It was the keys that he was so anxious to get hold of. Keys, eh? Yeah. I don't see there's anything unreasonable in the man's brother wanting the keys. You say they were in business together, Sergeant? I think he's entitled to have them. Yes, sir, but these are not just ordinary keys. I mean, that one it looks to me like the key of a safe. So he's got a safe. A pretty big safe takes a key like that, sir. Do you think a small-time car breaker would be likely to have one? Well, what do you want to do with it? Well, the maker's name stamped on, sir. Tilston. There's a number as well. Tilston Factory is not far from here. I could go and check. Do you think you'll find anyone at this time? On the bank holiday? Well, I think there'll be a night service, sir. Well, try if you like. Yes, sir. This is the full one, isn't it? Yes, yeah, the fresh one I put on last night. Look, do me a favour, will you? What is the point of going back there? The police might be waiting. They might have traced the car. No, they must be dead already. Now listen to you. You're going with me. You understand that? As soon as we get the oxygen there, they'll be all right. You understand that? And then we can get out of the country. There's a settling bottle. It's over there. Go get the regulator off, will you? Well, there's, there's not much gas left in this one. Yeah, well, there's another one over there. This one's empty. Well, get another one, then. Where's the new stuff? Oh, blimey. They phoned up and they said they couldn't deliver it until Tuesday. Oh, that's marvellous. Have we got enough in this one? Well, how do I know? I'm gonna cut a safe door before. Look, that's all we got. We can't get any more, so get on with it. Will you give us a hand with this? I've got it. I've got the pipe. I've got the pipe. There. There, do you see? Oh, you see? That isn't right, too. Is there any emergency night service or someone on duty? Uh, no, sir. There's only me and the farmer. We're all shut down till Tuesday. Uh, what's the matter? Have you locked yourself out? No, no, no. I'm a police officer. CID. Oh, uh, what's up? Well, could we go inside? Yes, sir. Thank you. I'm trying to trace the origin of some keys. It's all yours. Where'd you get them? Other chap who was killed in a car smash. I'm wondering whether it's possible to trace them by means of the number. There's a number stamped on them. I doubt it. If there was, the records would be in the head office out in London. There won't be anybody there over the weekend. I can tell you what sort of keys they are, though. Oh? I used to work on the bench before I got this. These are strong room keys. The man was probably a cashier or bank manager. Mm. That's what I thought they were. This chap had nothing to do with a bank. Small-time car breaker. That's why I want to trace these keys. 
Our ring, Mr. Snape. Who's Mr. Snape? System Chief Locksmith. He was a former when I was in the tool shop. He can't help you, no one can. Hello? Uh, this is the gate of the factory. Is Mr. Snape there? I'll be back in a minute. I don't know where he's got to. He's just going out. Well, would you ask him to ring me when he comes in? What do you mean, right away? Is it urgent? Yes, it's, it's important. Thank you. He's out. We'll be back in a few minutes. Will you wait? Hmm. What have you been doing? It's nearly seven o'clock already. The batteries wanted some water in them. Oh, why do you have to do it now? What's the hurry? The main picture won't start at quarter to nine. I go to the cinema. I like to see the whole program. Well, let's see. Where are we going? The Regal? Yes. Well, there you are. The Regal starts at 7.30, the program. So there's plenty of time. Thanks. By the way, the works rang. What are they want? I don't know. They want you to ring them. What now? There's no one there. Well, that's what they said. Oh, right. Excuse me, sir. This is Williams. There's a police officer, yes. He's trying to trace the origin of some keys. I was wondering if you could come over and help him, sir. Couldn't he wait till Tuesday? Well, yes, it's most inconvenient. I do you think so? I'll come. Yes, right away. So much in life we take for granted. What made you say that? I said, think the light. Turn the switch and suddenly the room's full of light. I think that's wonderful. That's what it is. You think how many things we take for granted? The sun, the trees, the light, and the people. I sit on the bus sometimes, look at the people going by, and think, well, those people have their own thoughts, their own worries, their happinesses. They're all different. Do you ever wish you were someone else? Sometimes, and I, when I'm feeling depressed, I wouldn't mind being quite a lot of other people at this moment. That was another joke. Good evening, sir. Good evening, William. Good evening, Mrs. Snape. Sorry to put you to this trouble. That's all right. Have you got the keys? Uh, yes, sir. Oh. Yes. These are a pair of strong room keys. Quite an old pattern. We only made a few of these locks. Do you remember the old J-type, Williams? They're before my time, sir. Can you, uh, trace the keys, sir? I suppose you can show me some proof of your identity. First course. Well, I, I think you may be in luck. As I said, we only made a few of these locks. Not more than four or five, if I remember correctly. So if I can put my hands on the working drawings. Williams, give me the keys of that room where the drawing office keep the old junk. Put the old records out, please. Let's see he's turning up again. There's a young man in the house, Major. Here you are, sir. Thank you. Uh, come with me, Inspector. Uh, Sergeant, sir. You see, Rose, I was always brought up to believe that to show emotion in any form is a weakness. That's very wrong. Maybe I like trouble for it now. As a bachelor, I'm too set in my ways. You haven't given yourself a chance. We're all given a chance. The question is whether we take it or not. I was always interested in printing. But my parents seem considered respectable. Right to the back. One day, a friend told me that he brought up a printing business. He wanted me to leave the bank. But I'm his partner. I had my chance then. Turned it down. But you've done very well in the bank. I had to. I was determined never to have regrets. I didn't show that to, to anyone at all. You know, I'm sorry about this. You may not believe it, but someone's had a tidy up in this office since I was last year here. Very sorry. Just a minute. What are these? No, I think these are the
this is it. Number 45215. Now, let's get the book. Number, did I say? 45215. Do you want to take this down, Sergeant? That lock was installed in the strong room at the Eastern Counties Bank at Baker's Cross in 1937. Suppose there's an alarm on the back door. Well, how can there be? If there was, the shot it is would have served off. Yes, suppose there's an electrically operated one. Now, if they're going to get all that trouble over the back door of a bank, we got a spare nozzle in the bag. There's nothing to pinch in the bank, you know. It's the vault. They've got to be careful. Well, what difference does that make? Suppose there's one down there. All right, then. Supposing there is. How could they switch it on? The bank manager's in the vault. No, no. Look, it's one of these that, that switches itself on automatically. Well, we just got to take a chance, haven't we? Well, Come on. Lovely. You've got 18. You better give me a bit more than that. Okay, you've got 21. That'll be fine. Uh, the man's name was Alec Warren. Yes. No, no, nothing. He was killed instantly. The keys are already on the way up to you. And what did you say the number of the cars? Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, not at all. Well, our hunch about those keys seems to have stirred up something rather interesting. Cigarette. Thank you, sir. Mike! Oh, Mike, Stanford's the idea have just been on. The gentleman have just picked up two sets of keys belonging to the strong room of our branch of the Eastern Counties Bank. Oh, where did they get them? Found them on a bloke called Warren, killed in a car smash. I don't know anyone at the bank by that name, do you? Mm, not offhand, but could be. 
Manager's private numbers on our list. We can check. Hmm. from one of our banks doing on a dead man at Stanford. No. You, uh, you did say there were two sets of keys, did you? Yes. Why? Because it's a strict bank regulation that both sets of keys are never carried by the same person. What did you say the time number was? CNG34. No phone number. I wonder. Well, it's been known for bank managers to have gone before this, isn't it? Let's do another layer of asbestos. <laughs> How much pressure we got there, Dad? About 90 pounds. Rose. <laughs> God's sake, Harry. Gone. All right, you two. Drop your torch. Take him in. Oh, wait a minute now. This is not what it looks like. No, 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 there's two people in there. They might suffocate. They might be dead. You can't stop us now. People, what are you talking about? What people? The manager and the girl. We locked them in the safe and we did the job this morning. Oh, come on, come on. No, wait, wait a minute. Look, we're, we're not burning anywhere near the safe lock, are we? Will you put the gas on? All right, you don't. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you don't believe them. I need to turn that gas on and screw that flame. Yeah. Don't be stick. How can we if you control the valve? No, no, will you listen to me? Will you please listen to me for a minute? Now, look, we're cutting nowhere near the safe lock, are we? All right, then, so we did the bang job this morning, but we had to lock two people in there. Look, they might be dead. We've got to get air into them. Look, you don't want to make us murderers, do you? If you lock them in this morning, why can't you lock them now? Because we haven't got the keys. Where are they, then? They're in the mortuary at Stanford. Please, 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 you've got to believe me. Let them go. Pull me back, come
us through. Are you all right in there? Are you all right in there? Turn up the